Tasting One. I'm Toast. And I'm Haley. And today we're tasting whiskey. What? So whiskey? <laughs> we're tasting wine. And today we're tasting wine. Yeah, we have a Sauvage. Is it Sauvage? I know. When I read it, I want to say Savage. But yeah, I, I think it's savage. I think it's Sauvage. Sauvage, yeah. I think it's a U. Uh, but this is from the Groot family. And they're up in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they make, they actually make really good sparkling wines. They do, they have really good wines. Yeah. Uh, we visited there because, you know, we live in New Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, but before we go further, mm -hmm. we want to say thank you to Sable Ann who recommended this to us. She said uh, that we should try this one from Groot Brand Winery thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Groot Sparkling Wines are my current obsession. Yeah. Yeah, we went there and we were like, it, it was an eye opener. It opened our eyes. We were like, holy yeah. cow, there is good wine that can come from very untraditional places. Yeah, yeah. No, it was great. And their their tasting room, I think we've recommended their tasting yeah, room yeah. before we did, on this we show. Yeah, we did another wine. Yeah. Uh, but this is, some good stuff. so this is a zero dosage, which I've only learned about a little bit. I've heard the word, but I think it, you know a little bit more. It's when they just don't add like, sugar or another like cognac or some other thing to like take the acidity down yeah so when you're following um like the traditional champagne method they add like a super super small amount of like a really sweet wine um and that's to kind of like combat how high of an alcohol content there is in the wine so it's just trying to like balance out the acidity with a little bit of sweet um so this is technically like a sugar-free Sugar, yeah, no sugar added at the end. Yeah. Course. Yeah. Yeah. You see it, um, well, like, like a lot of times they add more dosage to uh, like the American market, like sparkling wines or, or the champagnes that we get. Yeah. Just because we like things a little bit sweeter. Oh, sweeter. But yeah, and it's usually done in grams. Like they'll say like, oh, nine grams of dosage, you know, added or 20 or whatever it may be. But. Right. And I guess a, like another nickname for being a zero dosage is Savage. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, if that's like what the name is representing, very that, clever. That's what, that's what the name is. But yeah, these guys, they follow like the traditional champagne method and all that stuff. So, they really they really do a good It's like cloudy. I know. It is really. I know. That's what I was looking at. Yeah. I'm like, wow, this is real cloudy. Yeah. I mean, it could, that could be some of the frost on here. But on the nose, I mean, just like first quick thing was like crisp apple. Crisp apple and zestiness. Yeah. Some sort of I mean, like zesty. Like, Lemon or lime zest? Yeah, I was gonna say lime zest. But yeah, it's it smells it smells nice. I mean, yeah. the bubbles are pretty nice. They're slow. They're slow moving bubbles. The bubbles are slow. So Very far, small bubble too. factor. I'm impressed with. I'm trying to think of you know because sometimes with like what is it? Isn't when you follow the tr traditional champagne method, you tend to get like those like kind of like brie cheese sort of like toasted smells. I think though, well, that's just like a style of wine making, like something that you find with like traditional house, like a lot of the traditional traditional houses. houses. Yeah, okay. they, they, they tend to make more, like sparkling water or champagnes that are more on the side of like brioche and butter and brioche cream. Yeah, about. all that all that stuff. But yeah, this doesn't. I think I think you get like a slight, like yeah, a maybe, very minimal. Yeah, if you're really hunting, there's something at the end. Yeah, I think it that is. That is a little creamy, so I could I can't see that. But if you didn't say that, I probably would just said, oh, it's got something at the end that I don't know what that is. But now that you say that. Yeah, I think it's kind of like crisp and light up front and then kind of yeah kind of has like that creaminess yeah so end. far so cool. nothing to complain about yeah, it is wow it is tart tart, wow. tart and acidic <laughs> but in a good way in a very fresh like vibrant way oh my god like what you definitely you definitely need food to cut with this though because it's like this will this could cut through like some some i feel like some heartier foods it's almost like a lemon meringue pie because I feel like there's kind of like, to me, it's a lot of lemon zest and then like a little bit of creaminess, sweetiness in the middle and then almost like baking spices towards the I, end. I can see like a baking like lemon pie. Yeah. If that's a, I don't know what lemon meringue is. I don't know if I've ever had that. Lem it's like kind of like a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have the best memory or like a, a accurate memory of it. I don't think but it's I mean it, it tastes great I like it I mean for the price this is like 15 bucks 15 bucks this is 15 bucks wow. yeah and, and, they, and wow. they they kill it I like how they, yeah I like how they don't add anything to it so you get to taste it like pretty raw pretty fresh of what like 
you know, it's coming off however they, whatever they do to it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the proper terminology for making champagne. Whatever. I think there's like a little bit of like toasted almond in there too. Um, and then I'm also getting a little bit of orange. Yeah, see, I'm orange only- Orange is towards the end. Yeah, the orange is definitely at the end and I can see the almonds, but it, me, it's just like the, the, like a baking pie crust with a little bit of lemon, a little bit of orange at the end. Maybe some almonds, but the finish is super long. Like I'm still, yeah, I'm still tasting this, and that's what I look for in wine. Is if like if the finish is still going, it means you're going to drink it slower. Yeah, and, nice. you, and you're gonna be able to try. Yeah, taste it longer. This is really good. Yeah, I wonder if like because there's no year on this, but like I feel like this could hold up for a couple of years because it's so it's it's high acidity, but it's really balanced in what it has. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what was her name? Sable Ann. Sable Ann. Thank you. Yeah, we'll uh, we do our best to try and find the wines. If you got any other wines you want us to try. Leave it down below. Uh, if you've had this or had any other stuff from the group family, uh, let us know. We we love their stuff, so I think it's pretty sweet. But uh, yeah, get out there, taste some wine. Uh, forgetting everything else, let us know what we should try next. Yep. Okay. Um, make sure you subscribe. Let us know what you're trying. Yeah, let us know what you're trying. We want to know what people are trying. We want to know what like you know. A lot of this stuff is seasonal. You know. Yeah. Like we drink this stuff in the summertime, but you know. Whatever. Yeah. Leave us suggestions. Yeah. Leave us suggestions. Yeah. We'll review them. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us here at this one. We'll see you next time. All right. Cheers. Cheers.